Hey, what's up guys? Uh, just got off work, stopping out to the park for a quick run with the Monster, and I wanted to make a review video for these motors. Uh, I've been running these motors for you know, about three months, I guess. Uh, Gart QE 2205C, 2300KV. Uh, these motors are phenomenal. I've had some unbelievably good luck with these. I don't know uh, a whole lot about the company as it's fairly new. Don't have a lot of information, but I use these on my daily basher rigs. Uh, I've actually had this same exact set of motors on three different quadcopters. I've had it on a QAVR frame, I've had them on my Hyperlite Evo frame, and now I have them on my Ishin Wizard X220 frame. Uh, these motors are rated to run on 3 and 4S. I am running them on 5S on this particular machine. This thing is very, very fast. Um, I don't know, I would guess with these motors on a 4-cell, you're looking at somewhere around 70 miles per hour, maybe 80. Uh, with the 5-cell, it's probably getting close to 100. It's very, very, very fast. The motors are so impressive to me because I've melted down so many other motors at the same time that I've owned these. Uh, the original Wizard motors had really rough bearings in them, uh, caused a lot of jello in your, in your FPV camera and your HD camera if you run one. So those, uh, they didn't last real long and these are the ones that I replaced them with. So after that I got the QAVR and put them on that frame and broke the frame and swapped them back and got the Evo HD and put them on that frame for a while. Well, to make a long story short, um, I also had a set of Racing Edition 2306 motors. I will not mention the, the manufacturer. Uh, 2700 KV motors and I put them on this frame and I ran them on 4-cell for about a week and I was having problems building heat which may or may not have been part of my own problem and cause but to, honestly the magnets uh, let loose in those 2700 kV motors and one of them came apart chewed the wires out of it so I uh, have given up on those currently three of them are still good but I don't know if I'm going to even replace the fourth one because I've done this now this thing after I took the 2700 kV motors off, I wasn't happy with the power output with a 4-cell with a 2300 motor. So I decided to go ahead and try a 5-cell. Well, these motors are only rated for 4-cell, but I've been running them relentlessly for two weeks on a 5-cell, and they just love it. They're eating it up. They don't even get hot. I've had no problems with them. They just perform flawlessly. So. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep running them. I'm going to see how much I can get out of them and how far they'll go. Keep watching all my videos. You'll see plenty of footage of me flying this thing with 5S power, turning 50,000 RPMs or pretty close. And they're just loving it. The bearings are still working. Everything seems to be fine with these motors. And I've crashed them umpteen times. So no unboxing or anything like that you know uh, unfortunately I don't have the ability to do that right now one other thing I will mention about these motors that's a bit tough is they're hard to solder uh, to get them to tin the wires you must lay the wire out flat and scrape it with a blade to scrape the coating off the wire to get them to solder so if you do cut them shorter as I did on this particular setup you will need to scrape those wires to get a good connection Otherwise, the solder likes to just fall right off that coating and it does not connect. So these ones I've, I've messed with a few times, so I've already got the coating off the ends and, and they're easy to transfer. That's why my soldering looks a little rough on here because I've transferred them back and forth to different machines several times. But man, how awesome is that? They're still kicking butt after all this time. All right, I'm going to put together a little uh, flight footage here for you and we'll put it all together and, and I'll make a video out of it. That's my review of the GART RC QE 2205 motors, uh, 2205C. They are far better than I ever expected for the for the price you pay for these things. You know, forty something dollars off Amazon. You just you can't beat them. This thing hauls particular butt. Awesome. Good job, GART RC. I'll be sticking with you guys from now on.